Hello everyone, it's Julie here. Today we are going to be learning about another parable. And if you remember, a parable is a story that Jesus tells that has a very valuable meaning. Speaking of valuable, what is something that you have that is valuable? Like, I don't know, this little squishy thing. Oh, it is so much fun. I can play with it. I can take a nap with it. I can squish it. It is so much fun. What is something that is valuable to you? Think about it for just a minute. I'm sure you have something. Maybe it's a, maybe you have a squishy or a stuffed animal. Maybe you have a favorite toy. Maybe you have a pet that is valuable to you. Well, speaking of something valuable, we are going to be learning about a parable called the hidden treasure. Now, this parable is trying to describe the kingdom of heaven, what it is like. A man is digging in a field. As he digs, he comes across a treasure that has been lying there hidden. Now, sometimes, not sometimes, a lot of times back then, people would bury their treasure so they would come back and get it later. Maybe they had to go and fight in a battle and they could come back and get their treasure later. Sometimes they didn't make it to their treasure again. So this man, he's walking and he finds the treasure. He excitedly covers it back up and he hurries off to sell everything that he has. Then he returns to buy the field. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Well, Jesus follows up with another parable right after that one called the Pearl of a Great Price. Also, the kingdom of heaven is like this. A man is looking for fine pearls. He loves rich and beautiful and rare things. He is looking for the perfect treasure. One day, he is offered an exceptionally fine pearl. He has never seen anything like it before, and he would give up everything to own it. And he goes and sells everything he has. Then he returns and buys the pearl. Now, in both of these parables, the men are willing to give up everything that they have to purchase the pearl and the, the field that has the treasure in it. Now, I want to read something to you from my Bible. I'm going to put on my valuable reading glasses. The kingdom of heaven is more valuable than anything that we can have. And a person must be willing to give it up. Everything to obtain it. The man who discovered the treasure hidden in the field, he stumbled on it by accident and he knew its value when he found it. Although the man paid everything for the field, it cost him everything. He didn't pay anything for that treasure because the treasure came with the field. Once he owned the field, he owned the treasure. Nothing is more precious than the kingdom of heaven, yet God, he gives it to us as a gift. He gives us the kingdom of heaven as a gift. In the parable of the great pearl, let's see. The kingdom pays the ultimate price to possess the pearl. In this one, the pearl is not Jesus. That is not the kingdom of heaven. The merchant, the person that is buying the pearl, that is Jesus. And he is willing to give up everything. Well, that's what Jesus did for us. He gave up everything for us. We're the pearls. He gave up everything. He gave up his life. He died on the cross for you and I. That's pretty amazing. But we need to be willing to give up everything for the kingdom of heaven. We need to be willing to give up everything to have a relationship with Jesus. Now, sometimes we have to give things up. Maybe you need to give up some of your video time to get a better grade on your score at school. And you give up time, playing time, so you can study. Well, sometimes we have to give up something to get something better in return. Well, there is nothing better than the kingdom of heaven. There's nothing better out there. That is the best thing that we can ever have. My fun squishy, 
my valuable reading glasses are nothing compared to the kingdom of heaven. And having a relationship with Jesus is so valuable. You know, in the story, the treasure was hidden. Well, Jesus, he doesn't want to be hidden. So we need to be telling people about the good news that there is something more valuable, so much better than what we have. And maybe people don't know about Jesus. Maybe they don't go to church. Maybe nobody's told them about that. And you and I, we need to be telling them the good news so they can have that hope. Let's end in prayer. Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for the kingdom of heaven and your free gift, the price you paid so that we can have the kingdom of heaven. Help us to remember that we, we need to give up things for you. We need to be willing to give up everything so that we can have a relationship with you. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Till next week. Hope you have a good week. Love you. See you then.